Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. Tyler Lloyd, student, VCU. And we're here to spread the message of freedom. We're here to spread some anarchy. And you'd be surprised how many people don't disagree with us. That's right, man. So we'll see you at the victory party. Hopefully you enjoy this content. Share and subscribe if you can. And take good care. In the state. So that's the hidden violence behind government. And that only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way. And that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of non-violent solutions that us four here already share. Five, that's right. You don't use violence to solve your problems? Uh, depending on the problem. Right, but it could be exception of self-defense. <coughs> you want to start it though. No violence. No violence. Yeah. Good, all right, so us five here, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the hidden violence that contradicts that which we're already against morally and our virtues and our principles, yeah. right? So what are, your, what are your thoughts on that? I, I agree, man. Yeah? Yeah, that makes perfect like sense. Yeah? Sure. yeah? All right, man, all right. Hey, uh, all right. <laughs> Talk to me, man. Thanks, cool. man. Hey, appreciate it. Well, let me give you some pamphlets uh, before you guys leave. Uh, let me pitch in this, uh, the last point hey, where here. Where you going? Come on, come holler. Come holler. This, so this moral stance that all of us share against using... Yeah, yeah. This moral stance that all of us share against using violence to solve its problems, that's called anarchy. Right? Like in science, anions and cations, and means without. Archy means rulers. So like monarchy means one political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. We can still have rules. We just don't need strangers, political rulers, arbitrary dictating and deciding how best our lives should be lived. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Right. If they could send Wesley Snipes into a cage for three years for not paying his taxes, they could certainly send anyone else into a cage. So that's the head and violence behind government. And that he only knows, this organization only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way. And that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of non-violent solutions that us three here already share. Mm -hmm. Right? So what are your thoughts on that? I completely agree. Uh, I mean, I see where you're coming from, but I think it's a bit extreme. All right, well, uh, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a very objective way to define what government is. So let's define government even further then. I yeah. think that's very important. So yeah. government is as a monopoly on services that they force upon you to accept. Right. You have no choice and to pay for whether you want them or not. And if you don't, then you're basically in the, in the outcome. In the case, right. Exactly. They have a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on security, on roads, on judges, on courts. They even have a monopoly on first class mail, pieces of paper to deliver. You don't have the freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, or have the freedom to compete and provide a better service that's not going to be abusive and harmful to the consumer, right? Like Netflix last year, try to raise the prices overnight, everyone's like, oh, cancel, unsubscribe, go to Hulu. Yeah. So the abuses that the government has on the monopoly on security, for example, like with the police, you don't have the freedom to unsubscribe or even have the freedom to provide a better service that's not going to be abusive to the consumer that wants that security. Right. right? So that's what government is. They have a monopoly on services that you can't compete. And that's what, and that's how it started. Uh, so it's interesting. So a lot of people are like, we're against monopoly. So let's be against the biggest monopoly of all, cool. government, right? So this more stance. Oh, you look. You have more questions, or yeah, yeah, so yeah. Please, please, please. All right. So let's assume that all this is right. Like okay. all the theories and stuff is 100 percent right. Yes. So what's the right way to enforce these laws? Because you have to have laws. You're not just going to let everybody go. Free great. Law. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So you can have a polycentric legal system yeah. outside of the monopoly of law that they have. All right, so like this moral position, this moral stance that us three already share against using violence to solve problems, yeah. that's called anarchy. Like in science, it means anions and cations. An means without. Archy means rulers. Like monarchy means one political ruler. Yeah. Anarchy means without political rulers. So we can still have rules. It doesn't mean without rules. We can have rules. We can have a polycentric legal system. We can still have security and roads uh, outside of the monopoly that the government has to create a free and voluntary society. So you can have communities of preferences. You can have an apartment complex building that's 420 friendly, one across the street that's not right but of course like the government they have to force only one preference the majority of preference onto everyone else whether the minority accepts this or not either everyone hates cannabis or they don't either everyone's for this particular agenda bill or they're not and sitting allowing the freedom to associate and disassociate and then you have these rich environments of communities that everyone can, can live the lifestyle preference that they want without the fear of, of being arrested or without being scared that you know someone is not going to approve of it uh, and you'll find these stuff already exists golf course communities right senior citizen 55 and plus older in florida right you go to a mall for example you know they provide free security there right the same kind of feeling you have towards mall security is what you should have if you're paying for that service 
not like if you see a cop it's like I don't want to talk to them you're kind of you know kind of timid kind of uncertain in the way they might react you look at Detroit they fall for bankruptcy uh, it's because of the unfunded liabilities the government has anytime you have a monopoly on anything the cost always goes up and the quality always goes down so it takes over an hour for the police to respond to 911 calls in Detroit but in Detroit there's this guy who created a, a, a free uh, voluntary community based model of business on security he's providing real security to these neighborhoods outside of the police and these neighborhoods want their security they're paying for this real security he's not throwing people in cages for victimless crimes so that's what you'll have you'll have rich awesome ways that people can solve the solutions in a voluntary way right, instead so of throwing the cage and just charging you know potentially ruin somebody's life right yeah exactly and that's and that's what you'll have and that's what uh, a free and voluntary society outside the government is right outside of the million of people here and this government has in cage more than any other governments in the world right more for, for victimless crimes. Seventy-five percent of them are in there for victimless crimes. Yeah. You know, so that doesn't seem like real justice to me. That doesn't seem like real opportunity to try to rectify the, the damages that are, con that, are, that are done by some by some of these people. You know, who, who's the victim, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it definitely opened up my mind. To yeah. I'm definitely gonna be thinking about that. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let me. You like some pamphlets then? Uh, yeah. 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 All right, so. What I have here are uh, anarchy pamphlet and peaceful parenting pamphlet. On the back of the anarchy pamphlet, though, you'll find a lot of great stuff on this stuff, especially in polycentric legal system. I was a criminal justice major here too, yeah. so I didn't like the way that they told me that this is the only, you know, the monopoly law I'm allowed to think about. You know, yeah, instead right. of trying to explore alternative solutions, right? It's like if you go to a judge, for example, uh, that's, if you're paying for their salary, then you shouldn't be fearful of what you wear. But the thing is, the court can, the judge can hold you in contempt if he doesn't like what you have to say to him, if you don't show him respect, if you don't call him your honor, if he doesn't like what you're wearing, and any time you can say, well, contempt of court and throw into a cage. That's not the kind of relationship you have with your, like, GEICO dispute resolution organization, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're like, you know what? <laughs> no, I am gone. I am going to, like, right. someone else, Allstate or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. So, cool. Well, my name is Cal. Adam. Adam, pleasure to meet you, Adam. I'm Marid. Nice to meet you. Marid? Yeah, yeah. Marid, sir. pleasure to meet you, Marid. Pleasure to meet you, too. Thanks for your time, sir. Marid, no, thank you for coming by. You too, man. Take good care, guys. And that's the hidden bias behind government. That he only knows how to solve problems to one way, this organization, through a singular way. And that's through the threat of and use of violence versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. So what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I agree with you. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when did you come across this? So you, you, you were on Mises song? Yeah, I was. Uh, I spent the, uh, some time in the summer down in Mises. I also uh, did an uh, Institute for Humane Studies seminar. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, this, this past summer? Yeah, yeah. This, it was a busy summer for me, actually, in terms of this stuff. Um, my wake-up call was 2010. 2010? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. I think I was just looking for different answers. I, it wasn't like a, I wasn't like a Ron Paul convert. Yeah, neither was I. Yeah, even though a lot of people by then already were. Um, but yeah, I mean, I learned about the banking system a little bit. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, I'll screw it up that is. And then uh, once you realize that all government really is is just uh, uh, people voting on one set of ideas that are then forcing everybody else, regardless of how they feel about it, it just seems completely ridiculous, yeah. That's great. So, yeah. so in 2010, your your introduction was uh, interested in the banking system. Yeah, I just kind of want to see how it was running. Like, like, cause I I heard a lot about like 2008 stuff, and I was like, I want to see how this actually functions. And I, right. Yeah. Cool, cool. So you understand, like, uh, eventually you come to a realization that they have a monopoly in currency. Yeah. Uh, I guess for me, myself, I had no idea that money in itself was a commodity, or that before 1913 there used to be a variety of different kinds of currency. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess I, I, realizing that and looking at what else do they have a monopoly on? Uh -huh. You know, they have a monopoly in security, on judges, on courts, on, oh, first, yeah. on first class mail. I got a lot of uh, on that. Like, uh, my um, over the summer, my constitutional law professor was uh, Judge Napolitano. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I know all about the nice man. Is, is this in Alabama? Right? Yeah, Alabama. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and how long is how long was uh, the the course uh, that you took? Um, well, I had a class with Napolitano every day while I was at the institute, but um, uh, that wasn't it wasn't that long. Did you meet Jeffrey Tucker? No, he left to go to join Laissez Faire Books. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he's he's been 20 years in the Mises Institute, and it's not his thing anymore. I guess. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, I I almost got to, I wanted to meet Hans Hoppe really bad. But, right. Yeah, but he wasn't. <laughs> he wouldn't fly in from Turkey though to, to go see us. So, but uh, I got a lot of uh, I got some time with uh, Walter Block and with uh, Higgs. Wow, and, uh, yeah, that was so cool, man. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Wow, that that's blowing my mind. That like here at BC, I guess meeting someone like like uh -huh. you. Wow, that's great. Because sometimes I feel like I'm like the only one. When I started doing this a yeah. year ago, it's like. I haven't met anyone else who understood any of this uh, stuff, and so 
that's pretty much what I'm doing out here now, trying to pass these ideas out there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, what's your name? My name is Cal. I'm uh, Matt. Matt, pleasure yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah, um, you too. So that's, that's pretty much, I, I usually wrap up saying, you know, when we come to this conclusion, saying this moral stance that you and I already serve, that's called yeah. anarchy. Uh, and then kind of break it down after that. But um, usually after that, I pass out pamphlets if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, Part of an organization called Liberate RVA. All right, yeah, I've heard of it. You've heard of it? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> it's uh, an anarchist organization. It's yeah. mostly free market anarchists. You know, of course, um, yeah. you can have a variety of different preferences. It doesn't matter. Well, you know, if you want to live in whatever kind of preferences you want, as long as it's voluntary, right? So, someone who's a communist, go for it. You know, as yeah, long why as not? Why not? If you don't want to believe in property rights, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as have the freedom for anyone else to kind of, this have is not for me, and yeah. go for someone else. Exactly. Right? Uh, well, we meet up monthly. We're actually having a freedom gathering next Friday if you're okay. free. Oh, uh, I might do that, yeah. Yeah? All right, cool, oh, sure. man. Well, it's a pleasure to meet yeah, you, you, man. Did. That's the hidden violence behind government. And that only knows how to solve problems this organization through one way, a singular way. And that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems. Versus the plurality of non-violent solutions that you and I already share. Right. So, what what are your thoughts? On I mean, I mean, I do agree that government, is, to a certain extent, is very corrupt, and like with all this stuff about the NSA. I mean, yeah. Like I definitely hear what you're saying. What is this thing like? Oh, all right. So this moral stance is more position that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems. And that's called anarchy. Like in yeah. science, anar uh, anions and cations, an means without, archy means rulers. Like monarchy, one political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. You can still have rules, except the government has a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on courts, on judges, on security, on roads, and even on currency. You don't have the freedom to opt out, cancer payment, or even have the freedom to compete and provide a better service that's not going to be abusive and harmful to the consumer. Right? So outside of the monopoly on law, you can still have a polycentric legal system. You can still have security, you can still have judges. At least judges that will be fair and partial and won't throw you in contempt of court because they don't like what you're wearing, right? Or because you didn't call them your honor. So we can still have all this stuff, but at least it'll be funded voluntarily in the way that uh, we, we choose everything else in life, you know, where we direct our income. At least then 40, 50% of your income will be stolen through taxes that always increases every year. Right. Um, so that's what this is. It's pretty much uh, trying to go out here and talk about these, uh, these issues. Cool, I respect yeah. your opinion. All right, man, take good care. Right, would you like a pamphlet then? Sure. Uh, on the back of the uh, Anarchy pamphlet, it's a lot of lists of uh, books I think you'd really enjoy. Thanks, man. Take good care.